I, I was sick a lot. I was sick a lot because I probably missed dosage and didn't realize that um, I was in the hospital a lot. When they did give me medicine, I didn't take it right. I admit to it. I just didn't understand them, and I didn't have the nerve to ask them the right way of doing it. Mm -hmm. I just didn't have the nerve to ask them, and I didn't want anyone to know I couldn't read. We had a child that was physically handicapped that I had to do physical therapy on. I would show up on Tuesdays instead of Thursdays for the appointment. I would be exercising the wrong side of the body. I had an abscess in a ear one time. Well, I had to fill out forms and I couldn't fill out, so I didn't go. I come back home. I ended up having to go to the emergency room that night because it burst. Health literacy is the ability to read, understand, and act on medical information. Unfortunately, millions of adult Americans lack adequate health literacy skills. The doctors, researchers, and patients in this video are real, not actors. The situations, frustrations, and complications are also real. Nearly half of Americans have health literacy challenges. Odds are some of them are your patients. Can you imagine what it's like um, you being a patient and sick, and uh, you know that you have limited skills, okay, and you're talking to an intelligent doctor like mm -hmm. yourselves. And these people are, are using words that you really don't know because they're not speaking in layman's term, okay? Right. Most doctors are just presuming that everybody's intelligent as they are, and that is just not the case. So what you do, you come out of that, uh, that, that room, that examination room with this intelligent woman or man thinking, God, I hope I don't make a mistake with my medicine because I did not understand anything he or she said to me. The heart of the problem is a disconnect between patient ability and healthcare communication. The average American reads at an eighth grade level, but healthcare information is often communicated at a college graduate level. This disconnect leads to confusion, frustration, and a feeling of helplessness for patients and physicians. While healthcare information can confuse even highly educated patients, those most vulnerable to misunderstanding are the one in five adult Americans who are functionally illiterate. 